Well, the comeback is official. Utah's legacy black license plate with the white lettering of the late 60s is back. Yeah, as our Matt Gephardt explains, the road to bring back that black plate has been a long one, hasn't it? Yeah, we've heard of this before. It was way back in 2018 that lawmakers told the DMV, you must bring this back. You must make it an option for people to buy cars. But when the release dragged on for years, I began getting the call from frustrated drivers asking, what is the holdup? Let's see. It has been more than two years since I first introduced you to Mark Briggs. He contacted me frustrated that he could not get a black license plate. It's, uh, you know, attractive on a vehicle. By law, he is entitled to one. In fact, for five whole years now, it has been on the books that Utah's DMV must design a license plate with a black background, white characters, and the word Utah. But when people ask the DMV for such a plate, they are rebuffed. This is what is supposed to happen. The bill was, was uh, crystal clear on that. And uh, with something that can be achieved to just make a choice to, to not follow the, the law that has been passed uh, doesn't seem right. Well, at long last, look at what has finally come to Utah. Why did it take as long as a day? I, in the legislative process can be slow. Jason Gardner is the director of policy planning and public affairs for the DMV. The issue, he says, is that issuing black plates broke a different Utah law. There was a conflict in the law. That required a fully reflective plate face, and black by its very nature is not reflective. And reflective is important. Without it, law enforcement has a harder time doing its job, like tracking down stolen cars. So what changed? Well, the legislature passed another law, this time saying that the plate doesn't need to be entirely reflective, just that the letters and the numbers on the plate have to reflect. Which is really the important part. That's what people need to see. That's what matters on the license plate. And because of that change, the letters are going to be white, which is easily made of reflective. And we're, we're all we're ready to go. Ready to go indeed. In fact, in just a couple of weeks since the plate became available, the DMV says they have seen tons of people requesting but one. We're actually excited about it. If it was reported. People who opt for the plate need to make an annual donation to the Utah Historical Society. It is 25 bucks per year. Guys. Okay, so they're on the market. They're you on can the get market. Them now. Go get, call the DMV. It's yours. 25 clams. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Thanks.